For a relatively compact camera, the Fujifilm X83 features a large sensor, it's a 24.2 MP APS-C sensor, similar in size to those in many DSLRs. While the resolution is identical to that offered by its more expensive siblings like the X-C3, X-T20 and X-T2, there's a subtle difference in the actual design of the sensor. Rather than getting Fujifilm's X-Trans technology, the chip here gets a more standard primary color filter design, and while there's nothing wrong with that per se, it won't quite be a match for its premium siblings in the image quality stakes. The XA3 has a native ISO range of 200 to 6400, which is expandable up to ISO 25,600 if necessary, though we'd avoid using this other than as a last resort. The autofocus system is generally impressive, if not the quietest. The camera comes with an XC1650 mm f 3.55.6 2 lens S standard, which is versatile enough to suit most for everyday photography. However, the beauty of the mirrorless camera genre, aside from the reasonably lightweight, travel ready form factor, is the option to swap out lenses, and, equipped with a standard Fujifilm X series lens mount, the XA3 is compatible with more than 30 different lenses. Unlike models higher up the Fujifilm range, the XA3 can't shoot video in 4K, just Full HD. That's just as well, as the often slow XA3 certainly doesn't have the processing power to handle 4K. As with most Fujifilm cameras, there's a touch of retro about the XA3. Our review sample came in a two-tone brown faux leather and metallic finish, it's also available with black or pink faux leather, and while there are some aluminium parts, including the front cover, top plate and top dials, it does have quite a plasticky feel. On the right hand side of the camera is a rigid flap covering a micro USB slot via which you recharge the XA3, which we find preferable to a battery charging cradle, alongside a micro HDMI output. The undercarriage holds a compartment for the battery, rated at 410 shots, and a SD card slot. Although we had a few different lens options for this review, we mainly used the 16 to 50 mm kit lens that most buyers will get. This is restricted to f/3.55.6 aperture, but proved a good general purpose lens in our tests. It features a built-in anti-shake system and handheld shots impressed with autofocus working well, though its constant beeps and whirs get annoying. Touch screen focusing is also possible, though it's best avoided if you want maximum sharpness, 